Today we are going to talk about nine things that you can reuse, repurpose to solve everyday problems rather than throwing them in the trash can. Now, I am not saying you should keep every single one of these that comes across in your house. No, you shouldn't because you would have piles everywhere, but you can keep a few of them to use in different ways to repurpose and solve those problems in moderation. If you have any unique things that you reuse, let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear them. Number one, the next time you're at the cash register and the cashier asks you if you would like to keep the plastic hangers, say yes. Why? Well, this solves a problem that I have had where my recipes, and FYI for my recipes, I don't keep cookbooks. I make copies of the recipes I like within the cookbooks. They take up too much room. Otherwise, I also print them off of Pinterest and I keep them all in one handy little binder. The problem I was finding was I have this recipe and it's laying on the counter and I've got all my food, I'm prepping it and I'm having to look over and inevitably sometimes I miss things. Well, this solves a problem where you just attach the recipe to the little clippy and then you hook it on your cabinet while you're cooking. How smart is that? Now, let's say you didn't pick up one of these. That's okay because I have taken a regular hanger and I have attached two clothespins to it. It works the exact same way. Just use a little bit of hot glue and then you're going to attach your recipe and again, hang it on the cabinet. This keeps it right in front of you. It keeps food off of it and you're easily able to read the next step. Side note here for these types of hangers, if you have extras, just clip off, cut off the side here and you can use this as a chip clip. There's an extra one for you. Number two, have you ever gone to Costco and gotten apples in this little apple container? They probably have these same things at BJ's or Sam's Mart as well. Have you ever thought about using this to store ornaments or fragile items? The thing about this box is where the apples are is a natural place to place ornaments safely. You don't have to wrap them up in bubble wrap. You don't have to wrap them up in tissue paper and hope that they don't break or you don't roll them out of the tissue paper next year and they go shattering everywhere. You can get several of these boxes over time and then take these boxes and stack them nicely in whatever container you store them in. Maybe it's a Rubbermaid container that you have. These boxes are shallow enough that they can fit multiples and you're not going to destroy your ornaments. Number three are cereal bag liners. These things are great. All you do is after you've finished off or emptied out your cereal is wash out with a little bit of uh, dish soap the bag and let it air dry. This thing can be converted easily into a piping container, a piping bag for icing. I love using this because it just, it works easily and you can just dispose of it right after. You can also take this material and cut it up into squares and place it in between meat or hamburger patties, even if you do black bean burgers that I love to make. And that way they're separated before you put them in your freezer bag or your food sealer in the freezer. So you can easily separate them when you go to unfold all them. Also, you can use these as just regular food storage. Put any kind of food in here and it works out really well in the freezer. This is safe to use with your food saver. It will seal it. I wouldn't use the vacuum part. I haven't tried that. So if you know that that works, let me know. I only vacuum in the vacuum seal specific bags, but the seal part does. So you can reseal this bag. Number four is another use for toilet paper rolls. If you didn't see my first video about toilet paper rolls and other items that I reuse, I will link that down below. Make sure to check it out. But the next one is regarding keeping cords, long extension cords in order. This is fantastic because sometimes these cords can get just completely wrapped up in each other. You can't find the one you're looking for. You don't know which one it's going to be the exact six, eight, 10 feet that you're going to need. Well, for me, I just take a toilet paper roll. I do reinforce it with a little bit of tape. It just helps it to last longer. I'm going to label it to know how long that cord is. So this is a great way, again, to reuse toilet paper rolls. Number five are plastic drink containers. This one in particular, I think was a lemonade. We also have orange juice. You can use whichever ones you have. I like the ones that are clear, but this makes it easy for things like this, where you measure it out like a cup. For instance, when you're making rice, you use two cups water or two cups of water to every one cup of rice. You can easily pour this out into a measuring cup based on how it's stored and you can stack them easily in your pantry and see what's in there. 
A quick tip on how to get the labels off of these is I put them in a pot of water so that they're submerged with about four or five pumps of dish soap. And then I'll also probably put about four or five um, tablespoons of white vinegar. You let that sit for a while and then it will be it will easily come off of the container. There still might be a little glue behind and you can use Goo Gone, if you've ever heard of that. You can also use a nail polish remover and sometimes just a little bit of baking soda to get some abrasion with dish soap on it. We'll get it off as well. Number six, have you ever gotten these jars of Parmesan cheese? Did you know that there's a secret here? First of all, of course, you can reuse this as a container, especially because it's got an easy shaker lid. Not a problem, but if you want to reuse a glass jar, did you know that you could take this lid off of the Parmesan and it fits pretty much any type of spaghetti sauce, mason jar type of a glass. This thing is great because then you could easily, let's say you have, for my, for instance, my husband and my daughter like cinnamon sugar toast. So they already have mixed up cinnamon sugar in another glass jar. It's a smaller pickle jar, but you can put whatever you want in here and it's easily, you can easily shake it out. Also, you've got where if you want to get more than that, you could open up the wide edge but it completely fits all of these items. Now, as far as getting labels off of glass jars, my tip is similar to the plastic bottles, except for the water. So with the plastic bottle, it's just warm water and you just let it sit there. You don't turn it on. With the glass, I actually will put it in the, the pot with dish soap, with white vinegar, and I will turn it on boil for about five, six minutes, and that label comes right off. You'll see it already come off in the pot. Easy to do. And then the same methods work with getting the sticky residue, if there's any left on, off of glass as it does plastic. Number seven is regarding butter wrappers. Every time you take one of these things off, keep it. Even if it doesn't look like it has a lot of butter on it, it still has oils and things in the wrapper. Just lay them out flat. You can store them in a container or maybe a Ziploc bag, keep it in your fridge or in your freezer. And the next time you need to go and put nonstick around a pan, rather than getting the spray out, grab one of these wrappers and just make, go around the entire pan. It puts enough on there that your stuff is not going to stick and you're reusing something you would otherwise throw away. Number eight, the next time you come across a mint or a gum container, take off the label and use it to store change in your car. That way it keeps it all together. There's been many a times when I haven't had my quarter when I've gone to Aldi to get my grocery cart. This is a great way to make sure your coins stay in one spot. They're not rattling all over the place. Just put this in your center console. It's a great storage keeper. And number nine is the trusty bag clip. Talked about this again in the last video, but I've got two more solutions for you. The first one is my favorite, tape. Tape loves to stick to itself. And although some of these dispensers have the little thing where it's supposed to stay up and not go down, it still goes down. So what you do is you just put your little tab on the end of the tape and you can even roll it on down here and you can easily open it back up. It's not gonna get stuck together and you're gonna waste a foot of it just trying to unroll it where it's split down the middle. The other thing to do is I used to just tape bags like this shut when I was, you know, a quarter way through the crackers. Just use one of these, put it right over it just as you do your bagel or your potato bag and it's gonna keep them fresher longer. I hope you enjoyed this video and if anything, I hope you at least found it entertaining and found a few good new uses for things you otherwise would throw away. If you enjoyed it, again, let me know down in the comments, stop in and say hello. Also click on that like button if you enjoyed the video and also subscribe. I would love to have you back for more videos.